Do you remember the Afghan? It seems every home had one. <laughs> Grandma used to make them all the time. My name is Aurel de Labros, and I'd like to teach you how to crochet. Do you like this Afghan? It is easy to do. All you need to learn is how to do a chain, a single crochet, and a double crochet. So, let's get on with it. Let's learn to crochet. Welcome to crocheting. Now we have crochet hooks in different sizes that we're going to use to crochet. But the yarn makes the difference in the size of crochet we're going to use. The crochet hook, our large one, usually are in plastic, and the very small ones are usually in metals. Because the metal, if they were in plastic, they would break, but the plastic, it's, it's for weight, usually, that you're using, because after a while, they become heavy. Now, there's different t crochet hook available on the market, and some have a real thick plastic handle and a small hook, because a person like me, having big hands, usually a very fine hook is really hard to handle, and I'll get cramps when I'm, I'll be doing your work. So to have a better idea, I'm using this type. Now, we have selected a size of a yarn to go with the crochet hook. Now I'm going to pull out the yarn from the center of the ball because the yarn has a twist. And if I were to use the yarn from the outside of the ball, I would untwist the yarn. So by using the center of the ball, I keep twisting the yarn. So that's the proper way to do it. So now, the first thing we're going to do is learn how to do a chain. First, we do a slip knot. The wool around the thumb, and this is a slip knot. I'm going to do that again. So I put the wool around my thumb, insert the hook, pull through, and I've got a slip knot. Now, to do the chain, put the wool around your small finger and over and hold the work with your thumb and middle finger. You hook the yarn around your hook and the way I've turned the hook to pull through. Turn the hook, grab your yarn, turn the hook and pull through. Turn the hook, pull the yarn and pull through. I'm doing a chain. This is easy to do. Just pull around and pull through. You mustn't really do it too tight. Otherwise, when you do your, you're going to do the single crochet or the double crochet on your chain, you'll have a hard time to insert your hook. So you, your work has to be very soft. Especially, right now I'm using wool, but if I were to use cotton, the cotton is very stiff, so you really have to be very loose. So, wool around my hook, and I pull through. The wool around the hook, I hook the wool, turn the hook, and pull it through. This is my, between the thumb and my index, I turn, spin the hook around. So let's start a chain again. What I'm doing is the end of my yarn. I put the yarn around my thumb, insert the hook, grab the yarn, and pull through. Oh, I slip around, pull through, grab the hook, pull through. This is a slip knot. Now, grab your yarn around your small finger to keep your tension and over your index, hold your work with your middle finger and your thumb, hook your yarn around the hook, twist and turn and pull through. Hook the yarn, pull through. In your pattern, when they'll say, hook your yarn, they'll sp uh, usually they'll have a term Y-O. It's yarn over the hook. And this is the chain.
Now we're going to do a chain and we're going to do a single crochet. What I'm going to do is I need to do a slip knot and in my hand I'll the wool around my small fingers, that's to keep the tension, wool over the index and I'm holding the yarn in my middle finger and thumb. This is to keep my work handy. My wool around the hook and pull it through so I'm doing a chain. This is easy to do, just doing a chain. This is always, you start crocheting with a chain usually. It's a Y-O. And now let's do a single crochet. We insert the hook in the bottom of your chain and we pick up the yarn. You have two pieces of yarn on the hook and we pull through. Let's do that again. We insert the hook in the bottom of the chain, pick up your yarn, and pull through. That is a single crochet. The base, pull your yarn through, wool around the hook, and pull it through. Wool around, I'm sorry, it's a single crochet, you pull the, put the crochet hook in the base, pull the yarn, and pull it through. Again, single crochet, putting the crochet hook through, pull the yarn, wool around the hook, and pull it through. I've done four or five single crochet. Now, let's, we're going to go back. Now, I've done a single crochet. Now, it's to do a double crochet. We're back on the chain. Insert the hook in my chain. And a double crochet is wool around the hook, put it through the base, wool over, and now you've got three pieces of yarn on the hook. I'm going to hook the yarn, pull it through two of them, and wool around the hook, and pull it again through two more. That is a double crochet. Let's try that again. Wool around the crochet hook, you go through the base, pick up your yarn, pull it through, wool around the crochet hook, pull it through two of them, wool around the crochet hook, and pull it through. A double crochet. Wool around the crochet hook, go down. And the reason why they call it a double crochet is because you're doing this twice. Once, twice. Double crochet. Now I've done four double crochet. Okay. Now that we've done a single crochet and a double crochet, we're going to do a treble. So I'm going to change color because it's very uh, complicated and I want to show a little bit more details. So again, we're putting the yarn around the small finger over the index. I'm holding the yarn between my thumb and middle finger, my crochet hook, and I'm going to do a couple more chain. Now, a treble takes a lot of space and usually it takes about three chain to do a treble. And the treble is twice around the hook. We're going to go into the base, pull the hook through. Now, we've got four pieces on the yarn, so we've got to go three times. This is the first, the second, and the third. It's a treble, or a triple crochet. Again, wool around the hook twice into the base of my chain, pull the yarn through, the yarn through over the hook, pull it through two loops, again, two loops, wool around the crochet hook, and pull it through two loops. And again, wool around crochet hook twice, through the base, through the crochet, around, through the chain, 
wool around the crochet hook, pull it through two, and pull it through two, and the third. The yarn, I'm changing my, it, it takes a lot of yarn, and it's a long stitch. So, pull around the crochet hook twice, and the base, pull it through, pull over your crochet hook, pull it through two, around the hook, around two, and two. Now, I've done four treble, or triple crochets. Let's do it again. Put on the hook twice, the bottom, pull through, roll around the crochet hook, pull it through two loops, and two loops, and two loops. Now that we've learned how to do a single crochet, double crochet, and a treble, we're going to do some patterns now. Here I have a fillet, which is a double crochet and a chain one and a double crochet. So we're going to practice that. First, start with your base, and we're going to chain or do a series of chain. The pattern sometimes it depends who has written your pattern. They will say it differently. So what I'm doing right now is doing a chain. If they ask to do 10 or 15 or 30, sometimes 200 chains, it depends on your size of material. Now I've done a chain and I'm going to do a double crochet and a chain one, a double crochet and a chain one till, till the end of my chain. They'll, they'll say, do a chain, then do three more chain and turn. This is my third chain. Now, and they say turn, do a double crochet, which is a wool around the hook, pick up your wool and your chain below, and you do it once, do it twice. You chain one and a double crochet. Wall around the hook, and you skip one chain, you go to the following one, pick up your yarn, wall around the hook, do the first loop, and the second loop. Do another chain one, skip the bottom chain on your, on your base, and do another single cro uh, a double crochet, which is a wall around the hook, pull through, and wall around, pull through. Another chain one, Pull through, through. This is a chain one, double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Do one more, do a chain one, and a double crochet. You skip one in the base, pull the yarn through, around the hook, pull through, and around the hook, and you pull through. Another chain one, through. Chain one, double crochet, you skip one chain, and then base. Need some more yarn. Well around my small finger, over the index. Hold my, hold my yarn, I'm doing a chain one, and a double crochet. A chain one, and a double crochet. A chain one, and my last double crochet, and a base. We've done that. Now let's, we're going to 
turn around and do another row. The first row, the first double chain, the, the first double crochet is a chain two. So, chain two, and then I put a chain, turn my work around, and I'm going to do a double crochet in the double crochet of below the row. Make it another chain, and a double, and you pick up. When you're picking up in the double, in the double crochet below, you have to pick up two strands of yarn. One around, go through, a chain one, and another one. I'm using two strands. Okay. So this is what it would look like. Now, if you're doing a nice circle, a, a doily of some sort for a table center, here I have a pattern. They'll ask to do a chain, chain four or chain five to start, and then you'll do double crochets all the way around. Then your second row would be a chain two, and then you'd be doing double crochet uh, depending on the pattern what they're asking. If they're asking for a single, a double crochet in a chain, double crochet in a chain, or maybe a double crochet in a chain too. It all depends on the space, how big the pattern is. So you, it's to join row and row and row. Now that we've learned all the techniques in crocheting, like a single crochet, double crochet, and a treble. And I've showed you how to do the fillet and the circle. Now is the time to tackle a nice project like an afghan. My name is Aurel de Labrosse. Keep your hands busy. I have often said, yes, you can learn new skills from a book. However, with the Learn 2 series, you now have a practical, hands-on video that you can rewind, pause, and watch over and over again. Our family of programs is always growing, and I hope you'll join me in learning to knit, crochet, needlepoint, and many more crafts. Each video gives you a step-by-step -step instruction on how to create beautiful handmade treasures. Till next time, take care and keep your hands busy.